Hi everyone, this video will show you how you can get the Sith weapon in Elden Ring. It's default scaling uh, first with Dex and then Strength, as you can see. It has uh, caused blood loss buildup, as you can see, yeah, it doesn't really represent what you see in the icon, but it's pretty big weapon, so it has quite a nice reach when it comes to melee weapons. It also has a special attack where you deal damage uh, to enemies around you, kind of a big slash. That's why it's called a spinning slash, so 360 degrees attack as well. You can also use Ashes of War with this weapon, which uh, some of them will change the scaling and also the unique attack. So instead of spinning slash, it's going to be something else. And you can, if you have Faith main, for example, pure Faith or a kind of combination, you can just use a different Ashes of War to fit your build. Alright, so where you can find it, we need to go to the Cliff Bottom Catacombs. Alright, so this is the area. It's kind of invisible if you go there and don't pay attention to it. There are different ways to get there. There's also a close by site of grace, but I'm going to show you uh, from a bit further away if you haven't been in this area, so you can actually spawn. So we start from the Gate Town Bridge, site of grace. Uh, because it's a side path, it's, you can miss it sometimes. Basically, you need to go from the side in order to get to this little narrow area. There's also a nearby side of grace you're going to see as well. If you unlock it, you can be closer to it. Alright, this one. Now we need to just go to the most uh, left side and then we can get there. This will be a bit too forward, but... It's kind of narrow pathway. And then just, if you stick very close to the right, uh, you're gonna see it. There's some enemies there little nasty little ones, so be careful. If I stay more to the right, it would be better. I just went to the middle, but you can still jump there. Let me see in a moment. And that's the entrance to the place. I'm going to show you now how to get specifically to this weapon. There are other things you can find, of course. All right, so this is just for the particular weapon. Continue exploring the area, some nice loot there as well. Just watch for lots of lurking enemies, there are quite a few of them there. Uh, on the walls, even atop you on the ceiling, and also these square uh, things on the ground that activate the traps that shoot at you, also pay attention to that as well. I'm right, so just gonna rush so you can see where it is. I even died once just trying to show you all together, but I didn't pay attention to them. See, this this is the trap. You can see a square thing on the ground, so just avoid stepping on it. Some big dudes. That's where I died. And that's it basically that's the room all right so i already done it so you won't see it right here but i'm going to show you the moment i actually got it but this is the room you see the body you see the trap i'm just on the trap itself but basically that's the room that's you're going to find it I'm just going to show you the moment i actually got it so you can see all right so that's the moment i actually got it you see it's where the body is and that's the seat for you I hope you find this one useful, give a like if you did, and also don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button to get notified when I release new Elden Ring guides. Thanks for watching everybody, see you in the next video, cheers!